Welcome back everyone, today I have pretty much compiled everything I can find for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. If I've forgotten something please let me know in the comments, but what I've done is I've split it all up into sections, those sections being the planets they relate to. And from this, and also from the map we were given in the latest LEGO Star Wars trailer, we're going to try and determine what the levels may be, and we're getting quite a good look at it now, we can really work out which levels are going to be in there, which aren't, so we're going to go through that today. Like if you enjoy everyone, subscribe if you're new, let's get right into it. And we're starting off with episode 1, and most likely the first level will be negotiations aboard the Trade Federation starship, but we've got nothing to do with that yet. First mission we can actually take a look at is the fish mission, there's always a bigger fish, we got this one shot here, and then it looks like we cut straight to Naboo, which you never know, some of these shots in here could just be from the open world. In fact, some of them are from the open world, and I'll tell you which ones those are as we get to them. But we cut to Naboo, Qui-Gon destroying battle droids, and from that, we go into the Royal Naboo Starfighter. This is most likely where R2 repairs the ship. He's the one remaining astromech droid. From there, we go to Tatooine, we meet Anakin Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker does his pod race, wins, I can't wait to play that, and it's back to retake the palace, which we've only got this slight shot of before we move on to the main Darth Maul fight. We've got quite a bit when it comes to Darth Maul, lots of different footage, including actual footage of the gameplay itself, with the HUD, everything like that. We've got some promotional images, and then we have the sad ending where Qui-Gon unfortunately does die. Spoiler alert. Moving on to episode 2, and the Zam Wessel chase could very well be the first level as well, but that's not in here just yet. We start off with Kamino and the Slave One taking down Obi-Wan Kenobi and his astromech of course. Moving on to a level that was never in the old games, and that is the asteroid field above Geonosis with Obi-Wan taking on the Slave One. And we've got some footage here from those crazy ads we were getting before YouTube videos around a year ago. Now, while these won't be from the actual story, because the vehicles don't really make much sense, I mean, you've got Anakin's Interceptor from Episode 3, Grievous's Soulless One, and even Poe's X-Wing, which really doesn't make sense for the story, mode. These will show off that environment just a bit more from the level where you'll be playing as Obi-Wan taking down Django. so it's nice to see that and it also confirms it's going to be in free room as well. From there we may cut back to Naboo to see Anakin Skywalker, there may be a slight mission there, however I don't know, this might just be a promotional kind of shot, but then Anakin and Padme will set off to Tatooine no doubt, and then to Geonosis where we will be in the droid factory here with Django and the droidicas when they capture Padme and Anakin, then it will be Geonosis arena time which we've got this image and quite a bit of footage of as well, including that Mace vs Django fight and also when the gunships storm in and rescue everyone. Then we cut to episode 3 and we've got this shot of the Venators. We don't really know what planet this is above, it could be above Naboo for all that it matters. But in this case, we're going to see these same Venators most likely above Coruscant. Because then after that we're going to have Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, which we've seen here and we've seen in some of the footage earlier. And we're going to do that mission at the start of episode 3, where Anakin and Obi-Wan then take on Count Dooku. After that we'll most likely cut to the Obi-Wan vs Grievous mission, which we've also got some nice footage of. And then to Kashyyyk, which Kashyyyk is a really weird one. Because all of the footage I'm about to show you is more than likely open world footage because the characters used don't make sense. But considering Kashyyyk is so prominent in these trailers, there will most likely be a mission there. And these shots at least give us a good look of what Kashyyyk will look like. We've obviously got the Yaddle shot, Lando, C-3PO, and then these crazy, crazy shots once again from those ads around a year ago. I'd be very surprised with how big this Kashyyyk open world is looking that they just add it into the game without doing a level, so there most likely will be a level there, probably as Yoda and Chewie again. Then this shot of Mace Windu, this once again could be an open world shot most likely. He could be on his way to arrest the Chancellor, even though if you've watched the movie you know he goes to the Senate building in a gunship and not along the Coruscant streets, but you never know with this game. I've included it just in case. 
Either way, there'll probably be a level on Coruscant. In fact, we know there'll be one because after that, we'll have Yoda versus Palpatine. Now, some of these could be bonus missions because obviously there's five normal missions per episode, meaning 45 in total. But there are going to be bonus missions. Whether some of these will be bonus or part of the main five, we just don't know yet. Cutting to Anakin versus Obi-Wan, we'll see that go down. Obviously, Vader's going to get fished up by clones. And then we see the full Darth Vader transformation. Moving on to episode four, and it will probably start off with something along the lines of this. Leia giving R2 the Death Star plans, which we've had two different looks of. One with the hood on, one with the hood off. We cut to Vader entering. We know this shot isn't from Rogue One, so are they just going to exaggerate it a bit and Vader's entrance in Episode 4 is going to be this dark corridor with the glow of his lightsaber everywhere. Then we go to Leia taking on Stormtroopers, which will most likely be in that first mission. And once that's done, we'll cut to Tatooine. Luke will look up at the Twin Suns. we got this nice shot here on the back of LEGO Instructions with R2 and C-3PO most likely from that scene where they split off from one another. Luke talks to Obi-Wan Kenobi, then R2 projects Princess Leia. They go through Mos Eisley, there could be a bit of a mission here with C-3PO on the band for this could just be open world once again or it could be one of the tasks you've got to complete in that Mos Eisley mission which could be quite fun. Then obviously the shootout, who shot first, Harnell Greedo. We go aboard the Death Star 1, Luke takes on some stormtroopers, we see Vader in the corridors here. And then it's time for that final trench run. Episode 5 will begin on Hoth at Echo Base. Han goes out on the Tauntaun looking for Luke, who's obviously lost at this point. Then we get some snow speeder action, of course, including here from those crazy ads once again. We've got the footage of the snow speeder taking down the AT-80. Then it's time for the escape aboard the Falcon. These TIE Fighters will most likely be in there as well. Here we see one above Hoff. And then it's time for that mission to play out. The Falcon will escape through hyperspace. Obviously, we'll see Luke fleeing Hoff separately. Maybe a shot of the Super Star Destroyer as well, since it's from Episode 5. And then we move on to Dagobah. Luke begins his training, obviously wants to be a Jedi, Yoda's not so sure at that point, and we see a lot of different parts of that play out, which is going to be really, really fun. And then it's off to Bespin. Han's put into Carbonite, Leia takes on the Slave 1 as it tries to escape, then we get the big Luke versus Vader round 1 fight, which we got some really nice footage of. And then the moment where the hand is cut off, Vader offers Luke a hand in this version. The Falcon tries to escape, but then Leia senses something and they go back for Luke. Lando and Chewie, the Falcon finally escape. And this could be from when they leave Bespin, or this could be at the end of the movie when they're going off to save Han, we don't know. And we see that final shot of episode 5. Episode 6 could begin like this once again, these shots could be from the free roam, the open world, but Luke arrives on Tatooine in the X-Wing, obviously he's wearing that episode 6 outfit, we get to see Lando preparing as the skiff guard, obviously a bit of R2 there as well, it would be nice if we saw that, I just don't know if that's going to be a mission or if that's open world stuff to be honest, but I included it anyway, because we will be on Tatooine whichever way the story goes here, Luke fights the Rancor, then we're off to the sail barge and the skiffs. We got this nice image of Boba Fett on one of the skiffs and in the recent trailer we see Chewie taking him down. Then we may get Luke going back to Dagobah where obviously Yoda unfortunately dies. We see him look at the open world there. Then it's off to Endor. We got the speeder chase. We meet the Ewoks, Wicket in particular being showcased here. And then it's time for the final battle, Luke versus Palpatine, that's going to be a great one there to go down to finish off the original trilogy. Episode 7 will probably begin with a Jakku mission, we'll go up to the Star Destroyer, see the TIE fighters in the hangar like here, then it's back down to Jakku to play as Rey, here as she jetpacks across a Nima outpost, which is probably Lego just exaggerating as they always do, and then obviously they get in the Falcon, they fly off, and the next part we see of Episode 7, in order at least, is 
Takadana. There'll probably be a mission in between there at some point with the Raftars, no doubt. And then the TIE Fighters arrive on Takadana, as seen in this image here. And then Leia arrives, obviously, with C-3PO. They head back to Dakar. We've got a nice shot of Poe with his X-Wing, of course. Then we go to Starkiller Base. We've got these two cool shots of Vader in the Holiday Jumper and the Gonk Droid, the Holiday One. I think these are on Starkiller because there's trees in the background. But either way, we'll have the X-Wings Assault Starkiller Base. Then we've got the big fight at the end with Rey and Kylo Ren. That will play out. And then once that's done, we will go to Octo to meet Luke. Episode 8 will begin with the Resistance most likely escaping the car, but we've got none of that footage yet. So the first footage we see is Luke training Rey. We got some nice shots of it, different angles of the same shot as well. And then after that, it's looking like we're going to the Praetorian Guard fight. Here you can see the start of the fight and in the next shot the curtains are burned and then it's time for a Finn and Rose mission when they're in the Imperial hangar everything's blown up going crazy you see them in the walker here as well and then it's down to crate BB-8 arrives to see Poe we've got the ski speeders obviously and then Kylo's shuttle lands Luke's vision arrives I'm really curious to see how this one plays out in the game because obviously Kylo doesn't make contact with Luke at any point in terms of their sabers, so it's going to be an interesting one. And we're on to the final movie, Episode 9. It may start off with Mustafar, although this isn't Kylo's ship, this is most likely how it's going to begin with a shot of Kylo Ren on Mustafar then leaving, and then we head to Agent Kloss. There'll most likely be a mission there because it's a planet in the game. I doubt they're going to make any planet in this game just for a free room. I think every planet will have at least one mission. We see Finn there. Then it's off to Pasana. We get the big scene where Rey does the backflip and takes down Kylo Ren's ship. And then it's off to Kefdair where we see the remains of the Death Star 2. Jana will obviously be there and this is where we'll meet her in the story. Then Rey will most likely go off on her own into the remains of the Death Star and this is where she will fight Kylo Ren. We got some nice clean footage and then we've got the crazy footage from those ads again. Then off to Exegol, you're going to have a mission where you're playing as Finn and most likely Jan. I would say in this mission as well. I mean, her horses are here, her space horses, so I'd think so. And then there's this shot of Chewie, Jan, Finn and Lando, which I don't recognise from the movie in The Falcon, but I think that they'll add this in at the end of Episode 9 and it will be concluded with Rey activating her yellow saber on Tatooine. And that is all the footage. Please let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Let me know what your favourite level was from this video that was showcased as well and which one are you looking forward to that maybe wasn't in any of this footage as well thank you so much for watching like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next one